Okay, fellas, we're here today to talk about the tool room problem we're having. Uh, so a lot of people are checking tools out and then never taking them back. So starting today, if you check something out and do not take it back to the tool room, we'll be fining you $50 for every tool that you lose. Is everybody understanding that? Any questions, comments? Are you serious right now? $50. So whatever I take from the tool room and don't bring back, it's just $50. Yes, I'm serious. Any tool, any tool at all that you check out of that tool room, if you do not take it back that day, it's going to be a $50 fine. I mean, what's so hard to, I mean, how is that hard? I don't think he's having a problem understanding it. I think he's having a problem realizing that you're saying somebody can go get a $200 tool, not take it back, and it only costs them $50. Uh, cause we're not going to have any tools left by the end of the day. If that's what can happen. Uh, yeah, I see what you're saying there now. Uh, yeah, this may be a problem. Yeah. See, see, that's what I meant. And, and one more thing. Where's everybody else at? Okay. Where's Roscoe? Where's Pablo? Where's everybody at? Cause I thought this was a mandatory meeting. There's like five or six people not here. Yeah. Uh, Roscoe's not here and uh, a few others missed too. Cause I told a lot of the other guys this morning when they came in about the new rule, and that's been about six hours ago. So I'm going to head over to the tool room. I'm, I'm going to catch you guys later. I hate dealing with this guy. What's going on, buddy? Hey, uh, so I got a lot of cutting to do today. I just need, I don't know, my tabo and uh, three or four cutting desks, and that'll be it. I'm just going to let you know right now, you can have the matabo for a little while, but I'm only giving you one cutting wheel. What do you mean I can only have one cutting disc? I got a lot of cutting to do. I, I can't do it all with one, okay? I need like three or four at least. Well, how do I know that if I give you three or four of these, you're not just going to use one and stick the rest in your box? I mean, I, I don't know how I'm going to prove to you that that's not going to happen. I mean, but I, I don't want to walk up eight flights of stairs, cut with one wheel, and then have to come back down every single time I need another one. I'm not walking all those stairs. Just give me three or four cutting discs. Well, without that guarantee, you know, I can't give you more than one at a time. I mean, you know, people like you that do this are breaking the company. I mean, every blade I give you just takes right out of our pocket. What do you mean I'm breaking the company? This is a multi-million dollar job. Those cutting discs are like a dollar. What are you talking about? I don't really know how you're not comprehending what I'm telling you. I, I got a very hard job here, okay? I'm the most important one on site. Being the tool room man is not easy, and if you can prove to me that you need more than one cutting desk, I'll give it to you, but until then, I'm just not going to be able to do it. Most important man on the job. Keep it together. I really need those blades. Listen, just give me three or four blades, okay? And if I don't use them, I'll bring them back. Well, you know, I could do that, but uh, I'm not going to. And to be honest with you, I've got to go disappear for about two hours and lock the tool room up and not tell anybody where I went and take the only key to the door, so... If you could just go ahead and take your one blade and get out of here, I'd appreciate it. Look, man, I can't find it nowhere. Just run over to the other tool room, grab a torque wrench, and come back so we can get this shit done. Boy, hell no. Okay, do you have any idea how far that other tool room is from us? That's why there's a tool room on both ends of the job site. Okay, I'm not going over there. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, look, we got two options here. Either you go get the torque wrench from the tool room, or we stay over until somebody goes and gets the torque wrench from the tool room. And I mean, I don't know if you realize this, but we're not getting paid double on overtime this week. I hate it here. I absolutely hate it here. I'm going to go get it. It's going to take me a minute, because it's like 5,100 miles away, but I'll be back. Man, quit being dramatic. It's not even that far. You, you always over-dramatize everything. Yeah, okay, whatever. So I gotta go out this building. 
Alright, then we gotta go through this building right here. Alright, out the other side. I think we're supposed to go right. Yeah, that's right. I'll take a shortcut by cutting across this field. Alright, it's the third mine on the left and take a right towards the North Star. I wonder what's taking them so long. I mean, all they had to do was go over there and get it. Oh, hell, there it is. I think I'm supposed to take a left out of that shop. Back to it. All right. Got that tightened up real good. I should probably text Ricky and tell him we don't even need it anymore. I'm sure he's already on his way back, though. Now boarding Delta 218 flight to the tool room. Now boarding at gate 17. Right there. 